Hi guys, it's Cindy, AKA Disney Queen. Today I am sharing my top five favorite kitchen items from the Dollar Tree. So stay, t so stay tuned. Hi guys, it's Cindy, AKA Disney Queen. Today I thought I would do a quick video sharing some of my favorite things that I get from the Dollar Tree that I use in my kitchen. Um, there are a ton of gadgets that you can get from the Dollar Tree, um, especially kitchen items. I know that things are $1.25 now, they're no longer a dollar. I'm kind of sad about that because that 25 cents adds up, but there are still things that you can get from the Dollar Tree that will save you money that are good value. So I thought I'd give you my top five favorite things. Um, I recently went to replenish some things that I use on a regular basis and I thought I might as well share it with you guys. So first on my list is these uh, uh, cleaning erasers. These are quick erasers. There's two in a box. Um, it's the equivalent of the, it is the same as the Mr. Clean erasers, but you get two for a dollar twenty-five. Um, I have used these forever in a day, um, and I they work just as good. I have used Mr. Clean ones; they work just as well as the Mr. Clean ones, and they're only a dollar twenty-five. Um, I did look online and I compared them to the Mr. Clean ones that you could pick up at your local Target or your local Walmart. I will put the price difference here so that you can see uh, what you get versus, for one actually I believe, versus if you get two from the Dollar Tree. Uh, second on my list are these um, Brillo pads. Um, they have a sponge on one side and they have a, a Brillo, Brillo side. Um, there are three in a package and these are $1.25. I will tell you the difference between this and the name brand. And in this package, you get three. I use these all the time in my kitchen. They last just as long as the ones that you pay a little bit more for. Um, and in this case, you get three for $1.25. Uh, next on my list is uh, if you have a um, Swiffer mop, you can get the disposable uh, Swiffer pads. They work great. They are better than getting the off-brand Swiffer pads. I know because I've tried the off-brand ones and they just don't pick up as much, much dirt as the name brand ones do. But I found at the Dollar Tree that you can get these washable pads um, for $1.25, I actually picked up two because um, I have a Swiffer mop upstairs and I have one downstairs. And um, it has a little side that you stick to your pad. And this is the side that you wash with. And it does better than the um, off-brand ones. And the reason I like these is because you can put it on your Swiffer, uh, Swiffer mop and then you can take it toss it in a washing machine and then put it back on your Swiffer mop and use again. And you're not having to keep reusing. Um, well, one, you're not putting a bunch of paper in your trash and two, it saves you money because you're not having to buy the expensive box of pads. Again, only $1.25.
Next on my list is something that I use every day in my kitchen. And this is a simple little product. It is a scrub brush. And it I love that it has this little brush on the back um, that you can like get in the little nooks and crannies and really scrub. I've had like um, pans that have like a little corner that you couldn't get to with the regular pad and you can use this little scrub piece on the back and you scrub it to get your pans, pans clean. I use this every day when I'm washing my dishes. And there is, of course, a name brand version of this that you could use, but it will cost you more than $1.25. And it will, this one works just as well as the more expensive ones. So I definitely recommend that. Last on my list is kitchen shears. Um, I buy these Dollar Tree kitchen shears, um, not just for my kitchen, but I also use them in my craft room and I use them for sewing. And um, these I believe are, these might be name brand, but they may not be. Um, but these work just as well as any pair of scissors that you would buy um, for your kitchen or for crafting and again a dollar 25 versus what you would pay if you bought the name brand and like i said i am going to put the prices for each product so that you can compare it the dollar 25 version to what you would pay if you bought a pair from like walmart or target um and these last a very long time uh they don't get dull just because you stuck them in the washing machine. Now, if you use them from cr for crafts, you do have to keep in mind that um, if you're cutting wire, that will affect them. Or if you get glue on it or um, hot glue or like, you know, things that you use to do crafts with, crafts with, you should try to keep it clean because it will affect, you know, how well they cut. But, um, I don't know if most people know this, but it also has a little grip in the middle that you can use as a bottle cap um, opener. So I know people make a, um, people tend to put down the Dollar Tree. Um, and I know that in some cases, some things you can get for less than a dollar at other stores, but we all know that prices have gone up on everything. I'm actually shocked that it took this long for Dollar Tree's prices to go up. But even at a dollar 25, you're still saving money. You're still getting products that won't break the bank. Um, I would even suggest dishes from the Dollar Tree, uh, plastic containers from the Dollar Tree. We get, um, uh, hold on, this has nothing to do with kitchen items, but we get name brand Puffs tissues from the Dollar Tree. Um, so I always say to people, don't, um, don't underestimate the items that you can get from the Dollar Tree that are just as good as items you maybe would pay a little extra for if you went into Walmart or say Target. So, so I hope you like this video. If you'd like to see more Dollar Tree videos from me, please let me know. Um, I can do them on the days where I do my lifestyle channel videos. And so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? And if you'd like to know when the next video will come out, 
All you have to do is hit that little notification bell below. So until I see you the next time, guys, have a blessed day. Bye.